when they think of beauty, it, it's it's not a dark skin woman with a wide nose, thick lips, natty hair, uh, full hips, big backside. You know, it's it's not that. That's chick. <laughs> you better you better embrace being weird. You better embrace being weird and stop trying to be pretty out here. It, don't, do you understand it's not working? I'm, try, I'm trying to get y'all to understand all, all that you do and all the money that you spend to look like you have pretty privilege is not working. And you and you and you messed up now. You're kind of confused about that because you're like, well, you know, there's trannies out here putting on wigs and fake boobs and fake booties and they and they getting men out here. Trans, trannies get men because they have dicks. Hello. They have this channel called Exoticals about mixed looking people and darker mixed looking ones. I relate to the channel because it talks of pretty privilege. I feel you are pretty too. So you frequent a channel for exotic mixed women and darker mixed women and you you can relate to that because you're you're pretty i guess well that's great this is the ugly girls club here this is the ugly girls club there's no ugly women only ugly personality why y'all be coming on my platform with that nonsense <laughs> there's no ugly person there's only an ugly soul you know ugly is on the inside y'all know that's a lie what world are y'all living in? And y'all only say that over here, like places like here. When you're on those pretty girl platforms, you don't say stuff like that. You you don't you don't say pretties on the inside. You don't say pretties on the inside when y'all are trying to learn how to contour and 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 make your nose holes smaller, or whatever else you're trying to do with your little makeup tips and tricks. No, you no, nothing is on the inside when it comes to pretty but when it comes to ugly you know well it's not really that and it's a matter of perspective and it's a matter how people think and everybody is pretty in their own way and all that nonsense okay we know this don't nobody want to be dark skin let's put our dark goddess hat on now who can blame her because us dark skin girls are on the bottom of the bottom of the totem pole nobody respects us Nobody thinks we're attractive unless, unless you know, you're... Now, they got some baddie dark skin girls out here now that are, that are crushing the internet, right? But for the most part, no, nobody's saying, you know what, when I grow up, I want to be you. You said, I don't think dark skin women are ugly. Anyone can make themselves look better. It's not about, it, that's not the argument here. It's not about making yourselves look better. And yes, anyone can make themselves look better. But the point is being honest about what you are and being unapologetically honest about what you are. Most women do not feel that they're attractive. Most do not. Because what makes a woman feel attractive is how she relates to other people, how other people respond to her. If they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then the beholder gets to say whether you're attractive or not. And if the, whole, if the beholder says you're attractive, you usually believe it because we want to believe nice things that are said to us. So no woman is independently, no woman has independent self-esteem, none. Hey Exoticals, I'm back with another video. So I came across this content creator the other day from the Black Empowerment Spaces. And I'm just listening to the way she talks to her audience. And I'm just like, the way the Exoticals community, the way we talk to each other, we talk to each other in a more positive way. We uplift each other. We give each other positive advice. Yes, we talk about our traumas, but we don't stay, we don't stay there. We talk about ways to stay leveled up and we encourage each other we give each other positive affirmations we give each other level up tips ways to heal and i mean they they give ways to heal but they keep the way this youtuber is talking to her audience it's like if i was a young dark-skinned girl i would feel some type of way i've 
had a point in my life where my self-esteem wasn't the highest and I remember what that felt like and I can imagine feeling like that and then trying to find a platform where I can feel encouraged but to keep constantly hearing that I'm ugly and I have to accept it it just doesn't feel right to me if a little girl grows up and her whole life she's hearing how pretty she is versus how ugly she is I mean don't you think her confidence would be higher than the girl who keeps hearing I'm ugly hearing positive things about yourself helps your self-esteem validate yourself if you have nobody who can or be around people who will Stop chasing after men who have their own colorism issues within them and aren't doing anything but projecting onto you. That's all it really is. Men can't get, men can't get beauty enhancements like we can. They can't get away with it like we can. They can't get beauty enhancements to subconsciously change certain things about themselves like females can. But they can sure date the light-skinned girl though. Have any si- I don't have any scientific proof of why colorist men choose lighter skinned women, but that's just my guess. But I digress. Just don't let the choices of others affect how you feel about yourself, is all I'm trying to say. About you and the way God made you. Because if you believe in God, you know he don't make no mistakes, right? You know he, lo- you, know he loves you. But learning how to decenter men will definitely help you overcome a lot of these self-esteem issues because it stems from that it stems from you know male validation and all of that but decentering men and finding another form of validation that's gonna be a big part to play in you just doing you and following your own beauty standards setting your own trends having more confidence it will really help it's not your skin color it's the mindset it's the way you move about life it's the confidence it's the way you feel about yourself stop waiting for people to validate you stop waiting for the white man to make you the beauty standard make your own be your own beauty standard that's one thing about the pretty girls we set our own trends and people follow us i I mean i've had i've heard hundreds and thousands of stories from other pretty girls that also have the same experience where other people are mimicking their styles and they will have a completely new style that they made up and people are following them but they also have confidence when they do this that is the difference confidence is the cherry on top of being pretty you can take the ugliest person give them some confidence and they can end up looking very attractive it's about confidence constantly hearing positive affirmations about yourself constantly hearing something positive about yourself if you're always hearing something negative it's going to give a negative effect at some point it's within your subconscious and it's not going to make you feel very confident from experience i had to change my mindset the way i thought about myself and that helped my confidence go up one thing about me when i my pop when my confidence when my confidence jumped up it was because i stopped Putting myself in situations where I could constantly get triggered, putting myself in situations, putting myself around certain people. I removed myself from certain people who would probably trigger something in me that would bring me back. I had to remove myself from those things. Confidence is like the cherry on top. And I can speak for a fact because when I stopped putting myself around negative energies negative people things that were going to trigger my insecurity once i removed myself from those people places my confidence automatically just started to go up i already had pretty privilege but but let me tell you once my confidence went up that's when i had a whole nother level of pretty privilege it's the confidence y'all that's the cherry on top of being attractive and you have to know that you're attractive or other people won't think you are either because that negative energy people don't want to be around it because it's going to start to affect them and that's what i had to learn once i removed myself from things that were going to trigger me trigger my insecurities and start being around more positive 
more positive vibrational things in people my confidence went up that's you know what i mean and taking care of yourself your hygiene your getting your nails hair done is going to have a big part to play just learn to take care of you as well so, so that's all i wanted to get on here and say it's really the way you see yourself if society isn't making you the beauty if if society isn't making you the beauty standard make your own beauty standard and have confidence with it that's the key i know a lot of dark-skinned girls who don't have this mindset who have pretty privilege i know this one girl personally in my life like I, i used to be obsessed with how she looked and she was dark skin like Tyrese but I used to be obsessed with and all the boys were too so it's not about it's not about the skin color guys it's not and I just hope I'm reaching somebody out there to listen to more positive be be around more positive vibrational things if the environment you're in is negatively affecting your your self esteem remove yourself I promise it's gonna help if it's the music, don't listen to that type of music. Listen to more positive music. Music that validates you. You and your phenotype. Find other forms of validation as well. That is another thing. I know one big thing that will help is starting on your own channel. Because that will give you a whole nother sense of validation. you building your, your own audience. you sharing your stories and other people are saying yeah i went through that too and you guys are just sharing each other's stories you become a a mentor in a sense it'll help you decenter men for a fact because you'll be so focused on this replying to other people's comments replying to emails and what people are sharing their stories with you and you're just giving your best advice you have a whole nother form of validation through something like a youtube channel or just whatever else you like to do, just just whatever you do, do not go around listening to negative affirmations because it just does not help with self-esteem. It just I don't understand how it could. It's that society has its own beauty standards that half of us can't meet. That's why there is a such thing as plastic surgery and veneers and weave and skin bleach and tanning beds what else did I did I miss anything because there's a beauty standard that we're all trying to meet to some degree but if you make your own beauty standard with confidence you already won so that's all I want to say thank you guys for listening